When I look back onto 9-11, leaving home to go uh, support this whole world of uncertainty at the moment, there was uh, three national response teams. Uh, I was on one of those teams and was deployed in direct support about uh, a week into it and immediately picked up and, and began supporting FEMA as well as supporting urban search and rescue. I will always remember the smell. Um, and that's something that uh, I cannot describe. When those horrific events started to occur, it was the aftermath of 9-11, the threat of terrorism. It became uh, obvious that we were going to create, as a nation, a Department of Homeland Security uh, with my calling in public service. I uh, decided that that was what I wanted to make my uh, life mission. President Bush was in office then, and that's when he established the Office of Homeland Security. When I first got to DHS in 2004, it was only 100 contractors and 50 government people. From that time to present, I have watched it grown 22 agencies. The primary focus, of course, in the early days was that terrorism mission. The new technology is enabling new crime types, and that's something that we're contending with all the time. Our investments and focus have now come to reflect that, where we're not neglecting that terror mission. Um, but uh, we're also focused on that law enforcement side as well. I um, work in fentanyl and uh, fentanyl crisis, um, synthetic opioids. It turns out there's a lot of crossover with the detection technologies, and I think that's a really great example of DHS looking at lessons we've learned and research that we've done and being able to apply them to a problem that's growing.